Report Mill templates are created using the Report Mill page layout application. So after having launched the application, I can simply click New in the Welcome panel, and this brings up a new document, and I can start creating elements of my report in the context of a page using the familiar page layout paradigm. So I can start by selecting the Rectangle tool here and dragging out a rectangle. I can set its color by clicking on the Fill button or picking a fill color from the list or bringing up the color panel and selecting a color, even right-clicking to get a gradient. Or I can even drag and drop in an image and use it as a texture. So with a fill set on my box, I can choose the text tool now and drag out a text rectangle. And I'll just type in my header, Hollywood Report. And I can select that, make the text bold. I can make it bigger. I can center it horizontally and vertically. And I can even, under the Fill Inspector here, set an effect. So I'll turn on a drop shadow. And while I'm at it, why don't I select our box and turn on Emboss. Then I can drag and drop in an image to use as a logo. So I will resize this and position it. Move our text over a little bit. So now we have a nice header block. For uh, actual reporting now, we want to bring up the Keys panel and we see there's some built-in keys, so I can drag and drop in date, and I'll position and size this over here. And I'll drag in page of page max, so we'll get some basic page numbering in here, and I'll center that. So the keys are using the familiar mail merge paradigm, so anything between at signs is going to be replaced at report generation time using your data, or built-in keys will use built-in data. But I can add static text and dynamic keys to the same field. So I can say, today's date is. And then I can also format independently any part of the text field here. So I can set that part, the static part, to be bold and set its color, text color, to be dark blue. And the date itself, I'll set to be red. So just with this configured, we now have a basic report backdrop and we can go ahead and hit preview and we see that the keys are filled in. Today's date is filled in and the page numbering. And if we go back and hit preview, we'll generate report in PDF using the platform PDF viewer and we see the same report there. So this concludes creating a basic report backdrop.